Sarah here, and, well, welcome back to another episode of Let's Say, where instead of playing the game, I actually talk about it. So in this episode of Let's Say, I'm going to be spicing things up a bit differently. Instead of actually talking about Genshin, we're going to be talking about Genius Invocation TCG. Yes, the game within the game, a game within Genshin itself. So yeah. Well, in this episode of Let's Say, let me take you back to the past of Genius Invocation TCG, and let me inform you why Minty Meat Rolls was the most broken card in the entire game on day one of Genius Invocation TCG. Yeah, so in version 3.3, which is basically the first time that Genius Invocation TCG launched, there is a card called Minty Meat Rolls that is super broken. You want to know why it's super broken? I'm going to be telling you that right now. So without any further ado, let's just get this episode started. So, what are the Minty Meat Rolls now? So yeah, um, of course this game has way too many updates. So of course, cards are going to get nerfed and cards are going to get buffed. So I have to actually talk about which cards were broken and which cards are not um, in this video. So I'm going to be scrolling to Minty or Minty Meat Rolls. So it is right here. So what does Minty Meat Rolls do now? So the effect now is that before the round ends, your next three normal attacks will cost one dice less, meaning that it only takes two dice to attack with normal attacks. And all it costs is a measly one dice. Yes, they didn't nerf that at least. So you can spend one dice and then consume the food on your character, and then your next three normal attacks will deal one less dice. So yes, it is a really, really good item still, re still a really good card to this day, but back then, I'm gonna be talking about now, Minty Meat Rolls in 3.3. So what did Minty Meat Rolls do in 3.3? You will get one less dice for your normal attacks for the whole round. Yeah, you get this effect for the whole round. So instead of having three normal attacks, you get unlimited. So yeah, all your normal attacks will cost one less dice. And you probably already know where I'm going with this if you played this game in day one, or if you probably could put the puzzle pieces together and find out why Minty Meat Rolls was pretty broken back then. But if you guys don't know, I will be talking about that right now. So here it is. This is the reason why Minty Meat Rolls are broken in Genshin 3.3. So... Now you know what the Minty Meat Rolls do back then. So now it is time to talk about what the Minty Meat Rolls comboed back then. So strap yourselves in, boys. It is time to learn about history of Genius Invocation TCG 3.3. So without any further ado, let's just get this started. So now you know what the Minty Meat Rolls do. What cards can combo with the Minty Meat Rolls? Well, you have the NRE, which basically gives you a food card for free. This is self-explanatory, so you basically get your Minty Meat Rolls more consistently. Of course you want to run every other food card because food cards are broken back then. So yeah, um, you could just run NRE to basically get your Minty Meat Rolls if you didn't get it turn 1, which is pretty, pretty cool. There's also other cards that combo with it too, um, specifically Gambler's Earrings, which basically gives you two Omni Dice per kill. So yeah, this got nerfed by the way. Back then, it was unlimited. So it's just like the Minty Meat Roll nerf, where instead of happening three times per match, it's unlimited. So yeah, as you can see here, three times per match. Gambler's Earring is also three times per match. But instead of having it three times per match, you get it unlimited. So yeah. So as long as you get a kill on a character, you get two Omni Dice back, meaning that you get a free normal attack. You see where I'm getting at? It is way too broken. And since... Minty Meat Rolls gives you two dice per normal attack. And if you get a kill, you get two dice back. You get a free normal attack. It's that busted. So you basically spend nothing. You spent nothing to deal free damage. Yeah, pretty busted. There's also cards like the Parametric Transformer, 
where if you deal elemental damage, you get one stack, and if you get three stacks of this card, you get three basic elemental dice, which is also pretty good too, because you can do whatever you want with those three dice. So you could use it on Paimon, which costs three of the same dice, where she basically gives you two Omni dice per turn or per round. So it is way too broken. Uh, Paimon basically gives you two extra dice to work with. There is also other cards that also give you more dice to work with too. It is way too broken. Like this, where if you have two of the same elements, you get free dice. So it costs zero and you get two dice for free. Which is way, 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 way too busted. And also you can run two of these Paimons on the field too. So instead of having a net total of eight dice to work with, you can have a net total of twelve! 12! You can also increase the number 2. There's also Lyben, where if you don't use your elemental dice, um, each different elemental dice will give you 2 cards and an Omni element of 2 dice. So yeah, all you have to do is get 3 stacks of Lyben, and you get 2 cards and 2 Omni dice for free. And he costs 0, so that's pretty good. So, you get a net total of 14 dice. In combo with this, you get 16. Yeah, you can start with 16 dice. That is really busted. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty pretty broken. Also, you can also use the combo of Lyben with Parametric Transformer to get three basic uh, elemental dice. And since it is three different dice, it basically fuels the stack of Lyben, meaning that you get it for free anyway. Broken. Yeah, you can probably see why it is extremely broken. So now you know the cards that combo with the Minty Meat rolls. So now it's time to talk about the teams that uh, the Minty Meat rolls are on. So first off is the Ayaka Freeze team. Whatever you want to call it. I call it the Liyue Freeze team because it uses Changyun and Chincho. So yeah. So what does Ayaka do? She does elemental damage. So yeah, all you have to do is either switch in on turn 1, or just switch in general, and you get cryo-infused normal attacks. And it is extremely busted. It is way too busted for its own good. So, once you do a Kamisato art, you basically deal normal damage, which is pretty, pretty busted. Way too busted for its own good. So, you basically deal 2 cryo damage. Um, and you basically uh, deal a lot of normal attacks because of the minty meat rolls. So now it's time to talk about the other character in combo with this card. It is Xingqiu. So for Xingqiu, you basically uh, have Rain Cutter, which back then it deals 2 Hydro damage. It still lasts for 3 attacks, but it is way worth it in the end just to deal so much damage. It is way, way, way too broken for its own good. Way too broken. So, with the combo of these cards, you probably already know where I'm going with this. You can also deal 6 damage, uh, potentially with this, which is Content Senmyo Blessing from Ayaka. So, you basically deal plus 1 crowd damage for free, and all it costs is 2 dice, which is not that bad because there are cards out there that basically give you dice like the elemental dice or the jade chamber which lets you get two dice anyway of the same character that you are on which is really really busted so yeah um there is your combo of cards so now what can this deck do it basically deals five damage and you get a freeze which is pretty good that is half of their health so all you have to do is do deal two normal attacks and they die unless they switch but if they switch they risk other characters being frozen which is really really scary because in freeze you can't do anything unless the opponent attacks you which basically does shatter damage or melts you which does melt damage because they're frozen so yeah it is pretty pretty busted and with the combination of this card you get plus 6 damage, which is really, really busted. So yeah, um, there's that. 
But that's not even that. Because there's a card where if you get two cryo characters on the team, you get Shattering Ice, which deals plus two damage. So you deal plus eight. Plus eight on a normal attack. That is 80% of their health gone. That is way too busted. And they die to anything too besides Catalyst from normal attacks because normal attacks deal two damage while well, Catalyst does one. But you see what I mean? It is way too broken, way too busted. Minty Meat Rolls just breaks the game back then in 3.3. Uh, it is just that broken. So you're probably already wondering what is the playstyle of this deck anyway? So you rush Xing Cho's Burst, obviously. Um, and then you deal Rain Cutter. Then you switch to Ayaka and then feed her all the cards. So feed her basically this. You feed her Minty Meat Rolls. You could also up to run Gambler's Earrings if you want. You put Libens on the field. You put Paramedic Transformers. You put Paimons on the field too. And then you start wreaking havoc on everything. So yeah, that is basically it for the Ayaka Freeze team. It is way too broken for its own good. Opponents can't move because they're frozen. So, which means free damage. Yeah. You see what I mean here? It is way too broken. Way too busted. And now, it is time to talk about the other team that uses these types of cards. Which is the Ayamiya team. A.K.A. Ayaka and Yoimiya. So! You already know how Ayaka works. Let's talk about Yoimiya. So, Yoimiya, back then, she is nerfed and buffed at the same time, I guess? So yeah, uh, right now she is basically buffed, nerfed, um, you'll see what I mean here. So, her burst back then does 4 pyro damage. Yeah, 4 pyro damage on her burst. Way too broken, way too broken for its own good, yeah. But the only problem is that uh, it basically increases the, uh, the dice duration from 2 to 3 to 4. So yeah, so back then, um, this cost 2. Which is pretty weird and busted. And in uh, the next version, it costed 4. And then now in the current version, it costed 3. Which is really, really weird. I don't know why they nerf and buff this elemental burst. But um, I'm just going to be talking about what it is back then just to avoid confusion because you're probably already confused right now. So back then, this burst did 4 pyro damage when you casted it and it costed 2 um, energy. Yeah, 2 energy. That is pretty busted for a pyro damage. So you deal 4 pyro damage, you get an Aurora's Blaze which um, lasts for 2 turns which deals 1 pyro damage. Melt does way too much damage for its own good. So you basically deal 5 damage per normal attack. That is busted. That is way too busted for its own good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can see why this is extremely busted. It is way too broken. And because of Minty Meat rolls, you get this all the time. So you can basically deal Cryo damage with Ayaka. And then this prox dealing... Uh, one pyro damage, which basically causes a melt, which does five damage. Yeah, really, really busted. This also increases the damage to six, which is also pretty busted too if you ever run a run um, this card. You can also run Gambler's Earring again. Uh, once you secure the kill, you basically get your Omni Dice back, meaning that you deal normal damage. Yeah, it is way too busted. You can also put Paimon in for dice, Libin, of course. The uh, Transformer, of course, for more dice. You can also run this for more dice, too. Way too busted. There's also ways to basically um, accelerate burst, too. Which I forgot to mention, so I will explain that now. There's cards like Star Signs, where you basically get one energy for two dice. Which means that all you have to do is deal one normal attack, and you get their burst immediately. Or, if you have two Star Signs... You use two star signs and you get their burst immediately. Two busted. This also works for Xing Chou too. All you have to do is use star signs and do one normal attack. And then you basically get this for free. Yeah, you get the burst for free. Way, way too busted. There's also cards like this. Um, which is the Calx Arts. Where after um, their effect ends. So basically Xing Chou's burst or Yoimiya's burst. You can use Calx Art 
when you switch into them because uh, either the two characters like Chang Yun or Ayaka or Ayaka the Power of the Two Agent probably already have energy stored. So all you have to do is use this, you get two energy back, and you basically get their burst immediately. Way too busted. <laughs> and since both of these characters use two energy, you get their burst immediately. So you could just do the combo all over again. Yeah. It's way too busted for its own good. Way too broken. And also, since you have two pyro characters, you get this reaction, which basically does three damage. You get nine damage, by the way. Yeah, nine damage worth of power. It's it's way too broken. That is 90% of their health, meaning that they're, they're one shot. They're literally one shot. It, it's that broken. Way, way too busted. You also use this as well in combination of Ayaka's burst, which does for cryo damage. It's way too broken, which basically does 7 damage. So yeah, all you have to do is basically apply them with Pyro, and then you use Ayaka's burst with the combination of this card, and they die. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is your history lesson on the Minty Meat rolls. So now it is time to close off the video with the conclusion of the Minty Meat rolls. So... Now that you know what the full context of the Minty Meat rolls do, and why they were broken back then, now here's the conclusion. Be glad nerfs exist. Yeah, um, if this persisted in the future, which basically is now, then the game will just be run full of Yoimiyas, Ayakas, and Shingchos. It is way too broken for its own good. So be glad that this got nerfed. So yeah, there's your conclusion. But yeah. Um, I just wanted to inform everyone about Genius Invocation TCG back then, because there's probably new players in TCG who don't know what it was like in Day 1, since I am a Day 1 player. Uh, there's also other old players out there too, which didn't play TCG and now are starting to get into it, wondering why Minty Meat Rolls were broken or any other combination of cards were broken. So yeah, I just wanted to inform everyone about it, and since the topic came out of my mind, I just wanted to... Uh, speak about it. So yeah. Well, anyways, if you like this video and enjoy it, be sure to leave a like down below. It also tells me that you enjoy this content, meaning that I will make more Let's Say videos in the future. So yeah. Also, be sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the content that you see here. It is greatly appreciated. Any amount of support is greatly uh, appreciated. So yeah. Also, if you do subscribe, Make sure to turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single upload I do. Uh, I upload a lot of things. So make sure you stay tuned for the next uh, upload if you do subscribe. Also, comment down below. You think I missed anything in this video? I only covered the Minty Meat rolls in this video. So if there's any other cards that are pretty broken back then in Day 1 Genius Invocation TCG, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. Because I probably missed a lot of things in Day 1. Uh, TCG. So if you inform me in the comments, I will be glad to reply to them. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching this TCG Let's Say video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.